guys this is the samsung a 12 um, that sort of has stopped powering and we found out that the reason was this uh, fiber that connects the power button and fingerprint sensor to the main motherboard broke over time i think it fatigued and therefore it is unable to power on but i just wanted to show you how to be able to at least power it on and then uh, the person says they're going to enable double tap to be waking up the phone and the only remaining task would be making sure it never blacks out so i want to know which is the power button signal which usually is normally at a certain voltage relative to ground in that case the metallic part of the charging port that is exposed is the ground and then we take measurements at the connector there. Let me zoom in so you can see the connector. And uh, that will allow us know where the voltage is. I think, let me also put the voltmeter screen right there. So that in case I hit any good voltage, you're able to see that. So the first uh, terminal, nothing. The next, okay, the next reads 3.8. So that is our terminal now i need to short this to ground that should initiate the powering on signal let me just show you that the phone is not on whatsoever so you have the confidence that uh, this is the right way to be able to do that so now i'm going to shift my voltmeter to current mode i'm measuring up to 10 amperes because that allows current to flow through it that means uh, it allows me to short this to ground but i could just use the grounding wire from this point to that point to the point where I hear vibration but uh, anyway I want to do that and also maybe show you the most current drone uh, okay I had it vibrate I think it drew barely any current and say Samsung A12 so I was right about this being an A12 let me zoom out and yeah so it's powering on now since the client's going to use it in this state let me just uh, be closing it up as it powers on i'm going to plug that piece back in there so that it makes it easy for us when searching for the component next time he so chooses to okay so this simply snaps back and in a way that's how you close up the phone uh, that done i can now freely bring back his sim card tray and plug it in as the phone powers on okay i think nowadays phones are being loaded by with heavy software because this is a really long boot time i think the software is a bit hard loaded into it also perhaps because it's not a flagship it has a budget processor though it's also a good brand of processor like you would see qualcomm or the samsung in-house processor so that's a12 going on why is it indefinitely going on i'm with your charger i'm with the charger uh, okay. drawing current all right okay so it's stuck here i'm going to go back in disconnect the battery and then power it on again uh, seeing that we don't have a power button so that's the only way of us oh I think it got scared and I decided to proceed. Okay, that's that first first boot up was extremely slow. How much free space are you having on here? It's almost full. Okay, could probably explain the slow boot. Optimizing apps. I guess let me give up opening it up and simply squeeze it back. 
please proceed. I don't have the time to open again. That would be unfair to me. Raising my hopes and then forcing me to continue with what I had paused. That said, let me hold on putting in the SIM card trace. <laughs> Man, you have cell tail SIM card. You have cell tail SIM card. And it works. <laughs> Respect. Yeah, this is a collectible. Huh? Oh, Celtel, then Zane, yeah. then Zane, Airtel. <laughs> so I worried. Then worried, now Airtel. Airtel. Ah, no. No, it was Zane to so Airtel. First, then Zane, then worried. No, no. No, it actually was went straight to Airtel. Then Airtel bought worried. And my feels like way back. Hmm? Yet uh, it's not very far. Okay, so the double tap to wake up, I think, works. And that's this guy's salvation, that he had enabled that. Otherwise, waking up the screen would have been a nightmare. SIM card placed in. Yep, so that's it for today. Do hit the subscribe button. So in this video, I've shown you how you take apart a Samsung A12 smartphone, and then two how you power on in the absence of a power button and then three make sure you set double tap to be able to wake up the phone in the event that uh, that should happen so those are some things you thank god you had worked on much early or enabled much early before having your power button die so now the only task at hand is ensuring the phone never blacks out okay so yeah that is, is it for today but should you want to hang around uh, well and good see you in the next video what is this thing what specs does this one have uh, this phone what specs does it have like ram i saw the battery is already good Okay, the battery looked big, so 64. I believe it has a good capacity. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it lasts for long. Uh, actually, that's what the market that this was targeting. Actually, when you're like, sort of buying it for a person in the village, it helps them a lot, rather than charging every day. I think now solar, <laughs> the solar chargers we have around uh, cheap ones. And people's motherboards have been fried. So guys, uh, thanks for sticking with me uh, for eight solid minutes. And uh, feel free to always come back and see you. Cut your I think you can pay. <laughs>